Which Bat family member deserves to take over the Arkham franchise? Well, I already asked that question, and in a couple of previous videos, I talked about Nightwing and Terry McGinnis, Batman Beyond. But in today's video, we'll be talking about Red Hood, Jason Todd, Arkham Knight himself. There is so much left to this character that we have yet to explore in the Arkham franchise. So in today's video, I'll be talking about what a Red Hood Arkham game would look like, what the story would be, the characters, the the skins everything that should be in a red hood arkham game with that being said guys if you're new make sure to hit that subscribe button for more arkham content like the video if you guys enjoy what you're seeing comment your guys thoughts down below and there is a suicide prevention fundraiser down below for more information Let's get into it. So why Jason Todd? Why Red Hood? Why Arkham Knight? All the same guy, but they're all different characters in their own right. Well, this is a very popular character and has grown in popularity immensely, especially after the animated series and Arkham Knight and the tons of tons of Red Hood content that we've gotten in the comic books and animated movies as well. People love Red Hood and love Jason Todd and love this story of what has happened to him and his redemption for going through this horrible act and dealing with his morality of, you know, wanting to kill all these bad guys, but also realizing that maybe there is a better way to go about vengeance and justice. Well, there's so much that people want to see, and I think that there's two different ways that they could handle the story. Obviously, both of these are going to have to deal with redemption and the redeeming of Jason Todd going from Arkham Knight to Red Hood to a different type of Red Hood that is more of an anti-hero and less of a villain. People need to see him go from anti or go from villain to anti-hero, similar to how they did with the Suicide Squad, but I don't want to bring that up too much. But there are two very strong storylines that I think that they could choose. The first one, which I would prefer, would be Red Hood Arkham Outlaws. That's what I would title the game, and I would have the game focus more on the Outlaws storyline and how Jason Todd goes along with these characters such as Starfire, Bizarro, Arsenal, and Roy Harper, and, and how he deals with being part of a team. Now, this would blend both old and new ideas from Rocksteady, focusing more on the back to basics Arkham type gameplay that we loved in the first four Arkham games while also bringing a team aspect that they were experimenting with in Suicide Squad. Now I think a lot of people would agree that the Suicide Squad and more specifically Harley Quinn needs to be taken care of and a lot of people online have made the joke or the idea that Rocksteady should make a Red Hood game titled Red Hood kill the suicide squad now there is a lot that rocksteady can do with this idea they could do an outlaws versus suicide squad game which is what i would personally want with the focus being jason todd obviously with some of the outlaws being playable and you work as a team taking down the suicide squad but the taking down the suicide squad isn't only about harley quinn killing bruce this is also about getting revenge on amanda waller now imagine after the events of arkham knight amanda waller hears about this ex robin turned anti villain hero that has the ability to do all of this damage to gotham city against the batman what do you think amanda waller is going to try and do she's going to try and control this being so i think it would be really cool if rot if red hood was taken in by amanda waller possibly you know fo by force implanting a bomb into his head and everything like that and making him work missions for the suicide squad possibly with deathstroke being part of that team that would be kind of interesting if they also wanted to tie in my previous idea um, with nightwing and everything however he eventually got out he got the chip out of his brain and everything safely somewhat and now he's on the run he finds Starfire, he finds Roy Harper, finds Bizarro and Arsenal, and they build the, the outlaws like they do in the comic books and everything. Obviously, in the comic books, it's more two separate teams. It's more Red Hood, Starfire, and Roy Harper, and then at a later time, it's Bizarro and Arsenal, but I think that, you know, we could maybe blend some stuff together uh, to make the player, you know, get more content. 
but this becomes not only a hunt for the Suicide Squad, but the Suicide Squad will lead Red Hood, Jason Todd, back to Amanda Waller, who forced him to work for the Suicide Squad, dealing with shit he did not want to deal with. This would be an amazing end to Amanda Waller, a great end to Harley Quinn, if they wanted to add an extra layer to taking out Harley Quinn. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't make 100% sense, and I'll explain why. They could possibly have Harley Quinn be part of the, the horrible event that happened to Jason Todd. Now, let me explain a little bit. Arkham Origins set up that Joker's first, you know, rampage in Gotham was set during Arkham Origins. And since that game, that night of Christmas Eve, Arkham's Joker has had an ongoing relationship with Harleen Quinzel. He's at least known her, you know, as whether it's as a doctor or to the point of where when she becomes Harley Quinn. And I wouldn't imagine that the Joker would leave her out to dry when he needs somebody to break him out of that place. And at that point, Harley's probably in love with him and probably wouldn't let him go. So I would imagine that Harley has been with Joker since Arkham Origins. And I can't imagine Joker taking Jason Todd alone without Harley Quinn being there. Now, this is kind this kind of doesn't make sense when you think about it because Arkham Knight, Jason Todd also recruited Harley Quinn during the Arkham Knight storyline, so he would have like completely forgotten that Harley Quinn was in on his murder, so it kind of doesn't make sense, and it also doesn't keep the continuity with the comic books, because Harley Quinn was not in on his murder during the comic series. However, I think it would be a cool, fresh idea if Harley Quinn was part of Jason Todd's murder and was in cahoots with the Joker during this event, which I think would make it a little bit more personal if he was hunting down Harley Quinn. But at the same time, if people just want it to be, you know, Batman, Bruce Wayne made Jason Todd become a better person and maybe they grew their relationship after the events of Arkham Knight and after Harley Quinn's murder, of Bruce Wayne, even though he was mind controlled, Red Hood would still be out for blood, but I really think it would be cool if Amanda Waller was actually his final target and we learned that he was in the Suicide Squad. I think that that's how I would want to do the story, something similar to that, and I think that there's plenty of puzzle pieces for Rocksteady to fit into a amazing story if they really wanted to. So when it comes to mechanics for a game like this, obviously the biggest difference between Red Hood and a Batman game is going to be the fact that Red Hood kills people and that you have the ability to use guns. Now, a lot of people are going to prefer that route and a lot of people are going to be you know, kind of shied away from killing people, especially after, during the Arkham games, you don't do that. Uh, canonically, you don't do that, even though you run people over with a Batmobile. Um, but that's going to be the biggest difference. And Traversal, he does not carry around a cape. No kicks. He doesn't have, you know, this giant flowing, beautiful glide that he does to get around the city. Like I said in the Nightwing video, we could give him a bike of some kind or like some kind of motorcycle um, that I think would be pretty badass. Um, I don't know if giving him the ability to drive people's cars, like you could kind of make it like GTA style where you can just take people's cars because this is a anti-hero. This isn't exactly a hero hero he doesn't have to ask permission um, when he needs to like take over a vehicle for a mission or something like that i think that that would be a cool way to traverse around the world i think that there could be cool customizables when it comes to his weapons his mask i mean red hood mask has so much potential for customizables i mean you have so many different versions of the mask you have like the ones that are just one big like carbon fiber shell that goes over that has like these white slits and then you have ones that are like bottom like half of the mask type that have like the black eyes that he has and like outlaws whether or not you want a hood whether or not you don't want a hood i think injustice 2 did like a great job of showcasing all the different versions of this mask that you could do i think that it'd be really cool if he had like a power rangers type helmet just saying big power rangers fan anyway 
that would be cool for customizables you know being able to change his jacket being able to change his motorcycle if he has one or you know other characters as well being able to change like bizarro's outfit being able to change roy harper's outfit stuff like that you know to bring replayability into this game and you know give the fans some more content i think that that stuff's really really fun when it comes to challenge maps and you know stealth maps when it comes to stealth I think it would be really cool if he also, you know, really showcased his knife abilities as well, which is something that they didn't showcase very much in Arkham Knight. I think that his knife abilities are definitely something that's underrated. It's shown in the animated series, or sorry, the animated movie that he knows how to use blades really well. So I think that that's a aspect of his character that could really come into gameplay as well. Um, another customizable that they could change as well. Uh, and just give, you know, the player a lot of different, you know, killing actions, I get, or different animations is what I should say, like giving them different killing animations like in Warzone or God of War or something like that. You know, they don't have to be super, super brutal. I mean, they just have to get the job done. And Red Hood doesn't really take his time when killing people. He use, I, I think that's why he goes with guns is because they're quick, they're fast, and he can forget it in the blink of an eye. Uh, that'd be my guess. All right, it's time to talk skins. What skins should be in this game? I got 15 of my favorite ones. Let's get it. No particular order. All right, first off, we got the three Arkham Knight skins. We got blue Arkham Knight, which is his main skin. The red Arkham Knight skin, which we rarely got to see, that needs to be in this game because it goes hard. It's so cool. And the, the DLC arkham knight red hood skin it goes insanely hard dude the the red hood with the white jacket i love it i love the design choice of having the white jacket most people would put a brown or a black jacket on there but i love the choice to do the red it just looks so freaking cool but we got to have those three that's a no-brainer Next up, we got the animated movie, Cell Shaded, with the option to take the cell shading off. I know some people like it, some people don't, so just have an option for it. But this is one of his most iconic outfits, so you have to add the movie suit. Next up, another movie suit, we got the Batman Ninja Red Hood. I know it's a little silly, but I think that there should be some variety in these skins. We should have a little bit of, a, of silly skins. Next up, we got the Battle for the Cowl skin. This is the scariest version of Batman I have ever seen. Look at this dude. You would not want to see that at night coming for you. That's why, you know, people stop doing crime in Gotham. I mean, look at this man. He's terrifying. Next up, we got the comic series suit. You have to have, you know, the original comic version of Red Hood. It's it's just a no-brainer. You know, they, they have to. I mean, this is the origin story of the character. Next up, we got the Future State skin, which I think is underrated. These LED lights and everything that go throughout his suit are so freaking cool could you imagine like this like this cyberpunky style red hood in like a reigning arkham or gotham city like that would be so freaking cool next up we got the injustice suit i think the injustice suit is a nice suit it's very simple it's very clean it was one of, one of the most hyped dlc characters for injustice so i think it deserves to be in the game next up we got joker's red hood costume i think it'd be really cool if you got to play as joker red hood it's it's a cool looking suit it's simple it's clean it, he's got a suit on he looks fresh and i mean i like the simple red dome that covers his head it's it's, it's cool to me Next up, we got to have the Outlaws suit. Now, I think that if this was going to be, you know, more of like an Outlaws storyline or has some of those characters, I think that his original suit in this game would be similar to the outlaw suit but you know make it different enough to where you could also add like a comic version of the outlaw suit because it looks badass next up we got the titans live action now as as much as titans could have done more with red hood you got to put some respect on being the first live action red hood come on add it to the game it's it's cool i think it's still cool the guy who plays jason todd did a great job it's not his fault that the writing was a little bad next up we got two more skins kind of tied together we got the young justice robin skin and we got the Inju or sorry the young justice robin skin and the young justice red hood skin i think both deserve to be in this game also if they were to do like you know little flashback sequences you should be able to have like a robin outfit obviously so i think that you know if you're going to be playing as robin for part of the game 
you should be able to play as young Justice Robin because the suit is clean. Lastly, just like the last video, once you beat, once you complete all of the story missions and all the cutscene stuff is done, you have a secret unlockable skin once you beat the game. What is this skin? You guys already know. Lego Red Hood from the hit DC straight to DVD movie Lego Batman Family Matters. <laughs> this is one of this is actually not a bad movie if you guys have seen it, but I think having an unlockable Lego skin after you beat the story would just be great and then you could do new game plus with this lego skin and it would just be hilarious but you've already beaten the game so it doesn't really matter if like the cutscenes like glitch out or anything like that it's just for fun because video games are made for fun that is all the skins i have so with all of that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video i think that rocksteady really needs to kick it into gear with their next game and i think red hood would be a strong entry point for them to take i think that a lot of characters want to see more of this character his story is not finished in the arkham universe there is tons of of potential with this character in this universe that i think rocksteady could do some really cool stuff with so if you guys like this video make sure to drop a like i want to hear your guys' thoughts about this idea what other you know red hood ideas would you like to see in a game like this what kind of traversal what kind of mechanics would you guys like to see let me know down below in the comments if you guys are new here make sure to hit that subscribe button because very soon i will also be doing a terry mcginnis batman beyond game idea and a batgirl and robin idea as well yeah i know people who are subscribed knew about the batman beyond one but that's right i'm gonna be doing a batgirl and robin game as well so with that being said make sure to subscribe also there is a fundraiser for suicide awareness go check out the details down below it's important other than that take care of yourself have fun be respectful and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks